You can say ass. I know I can. <laughs> Your bum bum? My bum bum. <laughs> we already gave the disclaimer. It's a pain in my bum. <laughs> Are you looking at my bum, you cheeky bum lookers? <laughs> Hello, and your poop my exit. name is Simon. Wow. Yeah. She's on point today. Yeah, see? You got all my references today. Yeah. Uh, but one of the other things couples may do on Valentine's Day is go see a movie, right? Yes. I know where this is headed. <laughs> you better. <laughs> but uh, a lot of times, I don't know, not this Valentine's Day, like horror movies are usually like the thing to That's go see. That's true. That's a good point. And well, <laughs> maybe the trend is still depending on your view of... Um, of the movie we're yeah. about to talk about. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Even Roper decide, declared that Fifty Shades of Grizzle... <laughs> Uh, was an awful movie. Gave it one and a half stars just because wow. it's very artistically done in terms of camera work and, and production. So that's why it got any stars at all? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but there was one reviewer, one critic in Australia who didn't believe that it was worth any stars. And I'd like to play that clip for you ladies. Please do. If you do have it. not heard it. And I love her, man. The Australian accent is so sexy. <laughs> I would marry the first Australian woman that said hello to me. Oh, somebody boy. please call. Yeah, in. somebody please call. 847 866 9687. It's Valentine's Day. You could be Day. a man pretending to be a woman, too, by the way. No, please don't. <laughs> I've had my share of surprises, Zoe. Ooh. We want to hear this. Okay, all right. So here we go. (laughs) This is Lisa Wilkinson and her review of Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, yeah. Good song. Good song indeed. So all morning we have been promising you at home a very, very special film review. Um, a la David and uh, Margaret, uh, we've got Dickie and Lisa now mm. uh, who have mm. taken over mm. from that wonderful SBS show that's now not, no longer with us. Sadly. However, it's now over to Lisa for her review of Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, Carl, because I've got something I want to get off my chest. Oh. Now, my husband had a big smile on his face on last single, night. I think, on a single, Oh, over there, you yeah, want to yeah. close up again? Yeah. Up the drive. So, Pete had a big smile on his face last night when he discovered that I was heading off to see Fifty Shades of Why Grey. Why did he have a smile at that? Shush. Okay. This was the book series, after all, that left women all over the world wanting more, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Sure, I was the only woman I know who had hadn't read the books, but hey, 100 million copies sold must make a good movie, right? Yeah! Wrong! Oh. Fifty Shades of Grey is, quite simply, the worst movie I've ever seen. Whoa. With a script that makes Mills and Boone read like bleeding Dickens, oh. and lines like, I don't do romance, oh. Jamie Dornan as Christian Grey is the 30-something jerk of a billionaire oh. who never seems like to that. work, oh. an emotionally crippled narcissist. Oh. No one could love. Oh. Meanwhile, Dakota Johnson is the one-dimensional lip-biting. Could someone get that girl a chapstick? Oh. That pathetic Anastasia Steele, who for no discernible reason falls in love with the aforementioned jerk and single-handedly sells women across the world short. Whoa. Yes, Fifty Shades of Grey is more appalling than appealing. Yes. It's domestic violence dressed up as erotica. Oh. And if there's one thing this movie is not, it's erotic. Same. Sister. So did you like it? One star out of five, Whoa. Dickie. And that's only because of the excellent chop top I console myself with later. Oh, yeah. Gee. And I know you're wondering, as to Pete, no, he didn't get lucky last oh. night because oh. after two hours of complete drivel, I need more than a chop top to pop my corn. Oh! All right, so Lisa Wilkinson destroys the Fifty Shades of Grey movie. I love it. I did too. Uh, <laughs> not the movie. No, by no, any no, means. no. Uh, I don't know if you ladies know this, but Fifty Shades of Grey was originally a piece of fan fiction for Twilight. Yeah. Yep. It was like a parody, wasn't it? Fan fiction is when somebody writes a like a, their own story about one of their favorite pieces of pop culture. 